So, Nicole Johnson is now a Monster Jam World Finals She's in the box. She's in the box. Alex Blackwell and Captain's Curse. Remember, the Captain's Curse Monster Jam truck is one of the elite. It has won a world championship, but Alex wants to win it with him behind the wheel. Pablo Huffaker drove it to the World Freestyle title in 2007. But it's really Alex's ride now. Well, we've seen some outstanding freestyle performances from Alex Blackwell, whether it be in Captain's Curse, Wolverine, no matter what truck he's been in, we've seen some outstanding freestyle performances. Score to beats a 28. Superman is your leader. So John Zimmer residing in the hot seat. And the hot seats here are in great locations. There's actually three of them. One is on each. There's, there's hot seats on each side. So that, you know, and, and again, it's always been about the connection, the interaction between the fans and the drivers. So here at our biggest event, the Monster Jam World Finals, yes, the leader is literally sitting at the edge of the crowd. He, I mean, he can turn around right now. John, actually, John's watching it on one eye and chatting with some Superman fans behind him out of the other. <laughs> That's just so cool. Good fluid motion by Alex Blackwell in Captain's Curse. Nice air, check that out on the tailgate. Nicely done. Captain's Curse off to an excellent start. Plenty of time still remaining on the clock. This I like, you gotta do some recording. 20 left in regulation time. Would think he's gonna try and start up oh, it. Oh, hang on. Yeah, would think, and now this will be a move, having to back up. Even if it deducts a half a point in a judge's yeah. mind, that'll kill you on this uh, in this competition. Hard to overcome any deductions with this level of talent and this many Monster Jam superstars battling. Now in bonus time, though, for Alex Blackwell and Captain's Curse. I'm like you, Mark. I, I love the flow. I, I love the excitement, the execution. It's lack of wow factor, though, and it's probably going to hurt him on the score sheet. Yeah, so far I'm going to have to agree with you there, and now he's only got one judge to give him a bonus score. So, you know, solid performance, but I don't think he's going to be able to take the lead. Alex Blackwell and Captain's Curse will now fill bonus time. The bonus judge's score is recorded. Anything else Alex does is just for these Monster Jam fans, and you know, that's what it's all about at the end of the day, and every driver will tell you that. Although they would still like to be the target. <laughs> Alex Blackwell, Captain's Curse, fills the clock, fills bonus tie, and even gives his Captain's Curse fans a, a little extra to take home with them. All these final moves are coming after the scores are in. And so, that may be his biggest wow. leap. So it's amazing sometimes some of these drivers will fill the clock and then they really let it all hang out, but it's not for the scores. So once again, Alex Blackwell able to get a great job done in Captain's Curse. And the score is just a 19. And again, I think because it lacked that wow factor, certainly yeah. had flow and momentum. Alex Blackwell in the books at another Monster Jam World Finals. No, I had a good time. I invited a family back from New York to next year's uh, Las Vegas here and for the whole three-day thing. And it's going to be a good time.